Hi guys and girls, I'm going to do a quick video on the 5 biggest mistakes guys new to the sport of bodybuilding makes. My, my road to bodybuilding start after the age of 40 and it took me nearly 6 years to get to decent shape. Uh, right now I, I'm over 50 years old and uh, I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm pretty much in, in better shape than many uh, 20 year old bodybuilders uh, are today in. And uh, every day I just wish that I uh, knew then what I know now and could have applied it and um, this is something that I really want to suggest to the young guys out there that start out on this road is to listen to the people that has walked the path and to prevent the mistakes that we have made uh, and learn from the mistakes that we have made. So for those prepared to listen, here follows my five biggest bodybuilding mistakes. Number one, insufficient training intensity. The pros in any sport, they reach such a high limit not because they just push their body to failure but because they use their mind to push their body past the point of failure. And uh, this is something you re really need to realize, is that when you think now that you're working on a set and you're pushing the weight and you're pushing to muscle failure, you need to reevaluate your whole approach and you need to start using your mind to push you past this point of failure, to put every bit of energy in and to force with your mind your muscle to work harder than it ever has. This is what professional people do. They learn this connection with the mind to force the muscle to work even harder and go further than what it normally can. This is where serious growth occurs. Point number two, working through pain. Now, I'm sorry, but if you're gonna think you are gonna be a man and uh, you get wrist pain or you get a tendon pain or whatever and you're gonna just continue working through it because that pain will disappear and you will be the man that doesn't work uh, not in bodybuilding that is the worst thing you can do tendon pain a, a joint pain is not going to disappear by working through it. It's going to get gradually worse and worse. And eventually it's going to derail your efforts from any six months to a year. And it's going to put you back to square one. So learn from that. Don't go through that process because that is an extremely big demotivator if you have to stop your training for months at the end because of a serious joint injury. So when you experience pain, you have to immediately give attention to it. Stop what you're doing, change your routine, uh, put some ice on it, use some anti-inflammatories, go and see a doctor, but whatever it takes, be wise, apply wisdom, and stop what you're doing. Point number three, bad technique or form. <laughs> Many guys start out and think, you know, that, uh, uh, as long as they lift heavy and as long as they can push the big weights, uh, the form is not really that important. It's all about being able to push that big weight. And this is a, a asking for problems. Uh, number one, you're asking for an injury to happen because if form and technique is not perfect, injury sooner or later will happen. And the second big problem with this is that you're not allowing the muscle that you want to train to do the work. You're allowing all the other muscles, stabilization muscles and so on, to do more of the work that they were supposed to do. When you do a certain exercise, you need to do that exercise so that the focus is primarily only on that one muscle that is supposed to do the work. You need to have this connection with your mind so that you only isolate the one muscle that you need to, to do the work. You need to keep your joints, your elbows, uh, your shoulders, you need to keep it stable when you're doing a move. Let me explain. When you're doing, for example, uh, bicep curls, you're not allowed to swing your arm to bring up the weight. You, you should keep your elbow stable completely and then only bring up the upper arm. You force the, the focus on the bicep and the bicep is doing the primary work. Otherwise, if you swing it, you're using a lot of your shoulders, your back muscles, your traps and everything to bring the weight up there. And the muscle that's supposed to do the work, your bicep is not doing the work. Now this explanation applies to all exercises. You need to focus and keep your joints stable so that you only use the muscle that is supposed to be exercised. Point four, not weighing your food or counting your calories. If your diet is not in place, your bodybuilding effort will fail. If you ever want to reach incredible shredded muscle look, you have to start weighing your food and count your calories. 
being mediocre is not going to bring you anywhere. You need to do this. Point number five, average standards. Now, of all the points here, I would say this is probably the most important one. Um, so many people out there, and me too, when I started out initially, I had average standards. None of these people, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lo Ferrigno, uh, Ryan Terry currently, uh, all these people, they, they, they don't have magic genes. They got there by not having average standards. They saw the sky as being the limit, and you need to get that mindset. Do not settle for average. Your standards must be incredibly high, and that will mean you're going to Push yourself to reach that level that you have set for yourself. No level can be high enough. So everybody, I wish you a happy training, many muscle growth, and make it happen. You can do it. Cheers. Have love.